Hi, welcome to this video. I'm Bill Murphy from ModelTrainHelp.net and today I'm going to show you a product that will help you design, plan, build, maintain and repair your model railroad more effectively and for less money than you would have thought possible. This product has helped a ton of people already and there's no reason it can't help you. But to prove the product is real, I'm going to show you a sneak peek of what's inside. So here we are on the cover page of the Model Train Help Guide and I'm just going to scroll down to the table of contents and show you a quick overview of what's included in this book. Uh, the first part of the book is just an introduction to the hobby, um, what's included in the book, uh, just some general housekeeping type stuff. And then we get into uh, starter train sets and what to expect. So if you buy a kit that comes with the, all the cars and the track and everything, sort of what you should expect from that and whether or not they're worthwhile. Uh, and then you get into the scales and the various the various scales that you'll see in, in model trains, which ones are more common, which ones are, are not as common, the advantages and disadvantages of each, lots of information that will help you choose the right scale. And then we look at the difference between scale and gauge. Gauge of course is the is the measurements of the tracks, so it has a it's a different different measurement than scale and this explains how the two are related to one another. And then we get into a section about why the track is so important, what they're made of, the difference between the various materials used to build the tracks, uh, differences between roadbed or standard track, all the information you'll need to choose the correct track uh, before you start getting too far into the building process. After that we get into the power supply, how it works, what is in it, uh, what you should be looking for in a power pack for either a small or a large layout, what you should consider for future expansion, things like that. Uh, following up that we look at the difference between analog and DCC systems and of course the advantages and disadvantages of each of them. And then from there we get into more of the layout options, uh, the different types of layouts, mainline, branch, uh, point to point, out and back, the various things that you'll that you'll uh, have to decide before you start building your 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 layout. And then we're looking at locomotives, uh, what to look at when you're buying one, the wheels, the motor, the flywheels, various parts and, and components in the locomotive that are important and that have a big bearing on how, how effective they are. We move on to cars and rolling stock, what you need to know, where to start looking, uh, what type of wheels and couplers to select, things like that. And then of course how much should you spend and where you should spend the majority of the money um, and what to look for and even some tips on how to save money when you're when you're getting started. And then there's 13 steps to getting started. It's just a nice simple checklist that you can go through and see exactly what you need to know. Uh, same thing, five steps to building your set, sort of the five basic ideas that, or five basic steps you need to take when you're first getting started how to create a good layout, scenery, why it's important, and how to create various things like uh, tunnels, rocks, ponds, and different types of water features, uh, roads, all the grass, trees, all the different things that a standard railroad layout has. And then of course buildings, we get into how you select them, what you can do to build your own or kit bash, pre-made kits that you can buy, building a small layout versus a large layout, what is LDE, why it's important, and how to make it work for you. Uh, cleaning your track, things that you need to consider in the planning stages, how to repair common problems. And then there's a, a large list of frequently asked questions that come up all the time. Uh, I won't go through them all, but just for some examples here, how do I figure grades and how steep they can be? Um, what do the letters stand for when referring to the scales? Should I oil my trains? Can I keep any scale model railroads outside? Things like that. And there's a whole list of them here. You can see just a, a whole bunch of, of stuff. It even gets into things like um, how do I simulate smoke and fire or how do I depict the aftermath of a fire? Really specific questions about designing the buildings and scenery for your layout. And then there's a glossary of important terms, which is really helpful, especially if you're just getting started, because there are a lot of terms that you'll see when reading magazines and websites and things that uh, may not make sense if you haven't seen them before. And then there's several bonus sections that come with it as well. Uh, the first one being model rail railroad yard design explained step by step. So this explains how to design, how to put together a model railroad yard in really simple, simple checklists. 
and then we get into model train layout track plans there's some excellent track plans here especially if you're looking for something that's a little bit smaller these all pretty much fit into four by eight or smaller which is a standard sheet of plywood so if you're if you're looking just to get started with a simple layout but you want to make something that's still realistic there's some excellent plans in here uh, there's even a section on garden railroads if you're thinking about running a larger garden railroad outdoors this goes over some of the things you need to consider and then there's a section on mastering an airbrush which is really helpful if you're going to be weathering your own buildings or or rolling stock or doing any kind of painting of scenery or anything in your layout. So this goes through a lot of the stuff you'll need to know even if you've never used an airbrush before. And then there's a section on all sorts of other resources, websites, books, magazines, and software and various things that uh, give you all kinds of other places that you can go for information. And the book, I won't go through too much, too much detail here in the book, but you can see there's all kinds of pictures and diagrams in here that uh, that explain charts, that explain the different scales, things like that. Um, the diagrams of the different types of tracks. So everything that uh, that you need to sort of see in order to really understand is explained really well and shows diagrams and pictures along with it to understand. So it's an excellent book. It comes in three parts. There's actually several, uh, three parts to it um, to combine the whole thing just because there's so much information in the book so it's uh, it, whether you're just starting out with your model train or you've been doing it for years there's stuff in here for everybody and whether you're building a layout building a, a second layout expanding one that you already have or even just looking for ideas for for new things that you can do with an existing layout it's an excellent book to get more information about the book, be sure to visit the website that's listed at the bottom of the video, www.modeltrainhelp.net, where we've got some more, more reviews and things about this. So this is Bill Murphy from modeltrainhelp.net, and I will talk to you soon.